barbecue, smoked baby back ribs. These are so tender that the bones just pop right out. Look at that, nice and tender. Woo wee, they smell fantastic. We're gonna keep these bones because meat is always better with the bone. We're gonna add a little bit of this extra sauce right on top, extra smoky flavor right in that sauce. And now the fun part, let's start shredding this meat. Wow, so tender. It just shreds right up so easily. Incorporate that sauce into there. Now we're gonna just mix it right into the mashed potatoes. We're just gonna grab a handful, and roll it up just like a nice ball. Continue that process until we're finished with all of our mashed potatoes and our barbecue pork. And now I've got everyone's favorite cheese to go with barbecue, cheddar cheese. And we're just gonna place one little cube right on top of each potato ball. Boop and boop, and it doesn't work unless you say boop. I said we were gonna use these bones again, reincorporate them and press them down. And they might lose their shape a little bit, but we're gonna fix that in the end, don't you worry. So we're just gonna push the cheese down with the bone. This is fun. And leave that bone sticking right out. A little cheese rib potato bomb. And now we're just gonna form this into a little bit of a teardrop shape around the bone to seal it in. Because guess what we're doing here? We're gonna bread. Standard breading procedure, that means flour, egg wash. So the egg wash is an adherence to the breadcrumbs. I just wanna sprinkle a little bit more on them, get full coverage. All right, we got a nice coating of egg wash on that. And now we're gonna dust it with panko, just like we did with the previous nine. And now, guess what? We're gonna fry. We're gonna take very carefully, be gentle, and just place some right in the oil there. And there we go, and they're gonna fry until they're 155 degrees on the interior in this 350 degree oil here. And as they fry, that potato is gonna adhere to the bone. So we've reincorporated the bone with the ribs because meat just isn't the same without the bone. All right, look at these poppers. The bone's sticking out, beautiful golden brown. We're gonna remove them from our oil. Oh, one of those bones popped out. Look at these beautiful barbecue pork mashed potato lollipops. Golden brown, crispy and delicious. And we're gonna take our pork croquette with potato and dip it in barbecue sauce. And now we're gonna roll it in pecans. Get a nice coating of pecans and we'll repeat the process. Again, get a nice coating of barbecue sauce on there. Roll it in those pecans. Look at that, a beautiful coating of crunchy pecans on the outside of this barbecue all right, our last pecan-coated barbecue pork potato lollipop, some pickles on the side, and jalapenos. 